closes the distance, and the intruder rises. But not to do battle. Instead, he retreats into the bush. Chololo has taken the measure of his opponent and found him wanting. Other confrontations await, some with enemies more implacable, enemies less inclined to run. Beating back the territorial advances of an aggressive neighbor is one thing. Learning to live with hyenas is another. It can be a hard lesson for a young leopard to learn. Tonight, school will be in session. It's time to hunt. And when Chololo sets off, a hyena will follow. Hyenas know what efficient killing machines leopards are. They also know if they can get to the kill before the cat trees it, they can usually take over. Chololo has killed well, but judged badly. The dead kudu is too heavy to haul off, and a powerful adversary lurks nearby. <coughs> At the sight of a hyena, leopards often turn tail, not Chololo. They struggle. They feed. They struggle some more. Both animals are on edge. The commotion could attract unwanted attention. And when another hyena arrives, the scales are tipped against Chololo. Tonight's lesson is all about hyenas, and it's a hard lesson indeed. <laughs> Even a minor bite from one of these brutes could prove fatal to Chilolo. The hyenas are out in force, but they are not alone. Besides hyenas, Chololo fears one other creature. Hyenas soon realize the lioness is alone, a situation they know exactly how to handle. Ah! <laughs> 
The lioness is soon put to flight. Even a lion can't fend off a pack of hyenas. Chololo was wise to play it safe. I really felt for Chololo that night. He gave it his best shot and lost out. But that's how a leopard learns. As for the hyenas, the kudu carcass was gone within the hour. His dignity intact, but his stomach still empty, Chololo moves on, eventually catching a whiff of something that might make a meal. A rock python. It matters little that the python isn't venomous. Leopards instinctively know to be wary of snakes. Hunger and curiosity drive Chololo to press his luck. Nearby, a female is chuffling, an anxious sound that tells Chololo she knows he's in the neighborhood. She was putting up a real yowl, a mix between a meow and a growl, which sets your neck hairs on end. At first, all I could hear was a couple of cats in the bush. Then the female came down. She had spotted Chololo and was trying desperately hard to distract him. She left her perch, trying to lead him away. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what was worrying her. She watches as Chololo uncovers her secret. A dead cub, no doubt hers. There have been reports of female leopards eating their dead cubs, and adult males may kill cubs they didn't sire. But this cub had been dead for some time, and it looked as if the female had been feeding on it. We don't know what killed this cub, but it definitely wasn't Chololo. But for Kim, there's even a bigger surprise. Then it dawned on me, this was beauty. The female I'd filmed years before. She'd been a good mother back then, and probably still was. But obviously things don't always work out. For every leopard cub that doesn't survive the first six months of life in Malamala, it seems there are several hyena cubs that do. These youngsters must scramble to stay alive too. But hyena families den together providing the added safety of numbers. At least three groups, called clans, live in Chololo's territory. Maybe 35 hyenas in total. Like close-knit extended families, Hyena clans hunt, feed, and socialize together. Their young stick close to the den for the first year. But if there is one lesson all hyena cubs learn in this part of Malamala, it is to keep their eyes on Chololo. <laughs> <laughs> 